to no contact. Take While it may look a bit like a doctor's office. If you're over 100.4, we're going to ask you to come back at a later time. This is how getting back to working out will look come Monday. Thrilled. I mean, we've been waiting for, I mean, we were ready to go before COVID hit. And for movement in Dallas, it's not about finding a new normal. While gyms across Texas plan for reopening, co-owner James Watson says Monday will be movement's soft opening, a chance to welcome new customers. It's just making sure that health is first and safety is first and everything. In an environment many will be walking into for the first time. These are things that we never had to do before, but I think it's necessary now. In allowing gyms to reopen on Monday, Governor Greg Abbott will require locker rooms and showers to remain closed. All equipment has to be cleaned between each use, and the 25% capacity rule is in effect too. For movement, that's about 100 people. In no way, shape, or form are we going to have 100 people in here. Uh, we just we don't think it's safe. We don't think it's wise. Instead, Watson says his team has spaced out equipment to make sure there's six feet between each client. Entire surfaces, including the floors, will get cleaned too between each class. Same goes for weights. When the equipment's used and the class is over, we're going to ask you to leave it. Watson adds it's more safety measures for customers to perhaps think about, but this level of cleanliness and care has always been part of the plan for movement. Now with masks and gloves added too, he's ready for Monday to get here. Our hopes is that everybody will be more health conscious. In Dallas, I'm David Goins.